I'd like to introduce you to Janet Hamilton. She is going to be a, a person that is going to be in the 40 over 40 luxury magazine experience this coming February on her birthday. So that is going to happen the week of Valentine's Day. So anyways, I just we just wanted to kind of go over this experience. Then I'm going to be uh, playing this on Facebook and Instagram. And so we thought we'd like to uh, show you, for those that don't know about the project, we're going to tell you a little bit about it. But I also, this project is very much getting to know the people that um, uh, are participating. So uh, Janet, could you tell us a little bit about the anomaly factor and, and, and what's that all about? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the anomaly factor. Well, <laughs> I've spent the last 20 years doing personal development and introspection, but more so in the last, <clears throat> excuse me, year, because I totally burnt out. But I've basically spent my whole life feeling alone, different, and like I'm swimming against the rest of society. <clears throat> excuse me. So I felt like I was an, an anomaly and hence logo. Um, I'm the only fish swimming in the wrong direction. And I, through my journey, have discovered that I am different. I am unique and I'm okay. And that we are all unique anomalies and we just have to find what our passion and our purpose is. And getting into podcasting and coaching has been my dream since I was in grade 10. I think the coaching, not so much podcast because it's recent. Um, and yeah, it's just a, a passion, fun project so that I can hopefully pay it forward and have other people find the same inner peace that I've recently discovered. I feel like I've connected and started loving myself for the first time ever this year. That's wonderful. And you know what happens is, and honestly, that's what I find with what has drawn me towards the boudoir. And to tell you the truth, some people are not ready for the boudoir. Some people would prefer to do a beauty or a fashion type shoot. And that's that's fine. But I will tell you about, well, for the last four years, I have been shooting boudoir. And I find that as people go through the boudoir, it's very empowering. And... um so I think that, like, I mean, I do encourage them to to try to do the boudoir, but if they can't, like, it's it's good to like whatever step forward you can take. It's it, you know that's it's it's good for the for for the people to because um, sometimes the we are the our own hardest critic, and I find that uh, you know that's partly what I find that what what my gift is to help people see the beauty in themselves because sometimes they don't see the beauty themselves. And so when we show the back of our screen untouched on, un they go, is that really me? And I go, yeah, that's really you. You, you look that good <laughs> and you know, you still got it. And so, and, and honestly, I think that we, we have to see the beauty in ourselves, and that's my goal. So let me tell you a little bit about this 40 over 40 project that you've gotten yourself into. The 40 Over 40 Project, I'm photographing 40 women in their 40s, 50s, and 60s in the year 2023-24. So I, with the ending of 23, I came up with all the women so far that I've taped over 40. And uh, I've created, I did the first edition of the magazine. So the next edition of the magazine is going to be the, the other 30-ish type women that have are, are, are going to become involved. So uh, we'll be uh, giving you this link later on uh, underneath, but that's uh, robgreenphotography.com will get you to uh, a place where you can kind of go in here and uh, find out the cost and and also to be able to sign up. So once you sign up, then I'll, I will get back in touch with you. Um, now I'm just going to, we're, we're just going to go over this, this magazine itself. And uh, the 40 over 40 magazine, uh, it's called Celebrate. And that's, uh, again, it's for the 40 over 40 luxury magazine experience. So, you know, I, as I said, this helps people to 
you know, realize and recognize the beauty of age. Cause sometimes it's almost like the forgotten and it's those years that you've all those years you, you've been taking the pictures of your kids or, and it's usually the, you know, the mom that's been all the burden has been on her, but now this is, I believe your chance to uh, give back to yourself. And this is a, a, a real pampering experience. It starts off with hair and makeup. And uh, you also get a, your favorite bouquet of roses or your, your favorite flower. To tell you the truth, like, I mean, different people have been, uh, I've been learning a lot about flowers, <laughs> you know. What, what's your favorite flower, by the way? Gerber daisies. Gerber daisies. Okay. Yeah, they, uh, the, I, I, ha I have seen that once before. <laughs> so then what happens is as you go through it, and, you know, we all have different things that um, sometimes people have gone through a divorce. Sometimes it's in their relationship. They, they're, uh, they're at a point where um, they're about to find a new relationship. I know Janice, after she did it, uh, she um, decided to go on to a dating site. She was with somebody. But what happened was she just found he wasn't committing. And so she wanted a committed relationship. And she decided, hey, I'm going to go on the road and, and take it. What's interesting about this, this it's an interactive uh, magazine. So if you take your phone and you you go to the, to you put it on that QR code, then what happens is it'll, the... it'll, it'll pop up a video that will go all the way through and tell you about uh, sometimes she's explaining to her what what her experience was like um you know uh same thing with with uh brenda she she actually when she was taking it she actually you know stepped in the pond so we, we were laughing and just talking about that experience so it's it's a lot of fun but literally i've been i've been taking uh pictures of people in their 40s 50s 60s it's uh you know it really uh um it's amazing because they uh, some people, when they think of boudoir, they always think of, oh, young people. I'll tell you, older people rock it, too. And I'll and it's and it's really a, a, a fun experience. And uh, I do have a wardrobe guide that when people book, I send out a wardrobe guide and it gives you some suggestions. But other things like, for instance, this this fur it's the fox fur. And that fur I've used in many, many shoots. <laughs> and it's, it's uh, you know, it's the, 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 the fur with a little bit of, those are actually the, I actually have those pearls too. They're fake pearls, but <laughs> hey, it's all Hollywood. <laughs> it's it's yes. all the, so, and, uh, and yeah, so that was, uh, so all she had to do was leave her shoes on. That was, <laughs> that was it. So now, this is our cover girl. And what's again, some people, you know, if you, uh, if uh, again on this magazine, I'll have the inter, inter, uh, the interactive magazine down below. Um, and if you read some of these things, like she had some medical problems and then all of a sudden she decided to turn her, turn things around. And it's, uh, it's an incredible, uh, incredible story. And um, we've shot a couple of times together. Really, it's, it's, it's very inspiring. Now, this is, uh, uh, Jolie, she, um, uh, you know, she was in an auto accident and uh, it literally gave her a concussion. Um, you know, she has, um, uh, it really, it was devastating for her where now she's just coming out of it now and she needed something to help her. Uh, she wants a goal and her goal is to, is to be a fitness, uh, like she was uh, very much a fitness model before. And now she's trying to get into it. And, you know, she says, you know, even though that I'm on my last 20 pounds, I just need this to kind of get, get me into it. And we actually got her into, uh, like, besides my magazine, I got her into a, a couple of other magazines, too, to, uh, that we uh, uh, actually she got on the cover of an L.A. magazine and two in Ontario. So it was, it's kind of fun. If people want me to uh, uh, present their their uh, their images to other magazines i don't mind doing that too now Catherine, she's an accountant I, I find it's interesting this is the kind of why i just kind of want to show you this because i i find that 
kind of getting to know the people and the stuff. She's an accountant. She this uh, she wasn't quite ready for the full day shoot. So she actually did a mini shoot, which was one hour of a shoot. We went to Paris, Ontario, and uh, she started driving a, a motorcycle in her 50s. So it was kind of fun to go out there. And we went all the way through the town and and she got a, a, a little um, a kind of a, a, a mini Google book. And uh, so these other people, when they do the things, the, the um, you get a you'll you'll get uh, decide on which image you would like to have matted a, a, a matted print. You also get another digital of which other shot we are going to put in the magazine. But you do have the options to buy deluxe albums, wall art, and I I actually have videos too. So we we kind of go uh, over that. Uh, and we'll we'll find out what what kind of you know uh, you're interested. Now you mentioned that before on the last one you did an, an album. Was this and was this a 20 page album, a 30 page album? How 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 many pages was the album? I'm gonna say 20 or less. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so and and on the last experience you did because because I'm because basically I I'm trying to knock your socks off. So now <laughs> we, <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, what would you say? What, what, how empowering was that experience for you? Oh, it was very empowering because it's not something I ever thought I would do. And I honestly was very comfortable and uninhibited, but the female yeah. <laughs> photographer was very professional and instructive. And I just followed what she said. Yeah. And it, it was fun and it expanded my uh, comfort zone, that's for sure. Cool. And yeah, I'm just trying to push myself beyond my own limits to grow and gain confidence and level up. That sounds cool. Mm -hmm. So actually, I should just go back one second. So this, what happens is most people for the magazine, like even if we do shoot boudoir for the magazine, most people don't, uh, they might show the cocktail dress or um, maybe the 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 sweater because those are the first things that are kind of not too wild and crazy. <laughs> but I do uh, like, for instance, Kiwi, I've worked with her a number of times. She is a model. And, you know, so I knew that I would have permission to be able to use a lingerie picture in this, in this uh, magazine. So, but it's, it, um, we always take it to your comfort zone. And a lot of the times, you know, um, uh, we all have our spot that we would like to, um uh well like for instance in in boudoir uh, a lot of women they don't want their stomach to be shown for instance so you can see in these two shots here like sometimes it's just maybe sometimes it's positioning or like you know or sometimes you're on the bed with on your stomach and you're with your feet kicked up in the air and so it's really up to me to put you in the best light and in the best poses so that you look your best that day perfect so I thought this is this Sunny's her shots. We uh, what was fun. This was one of her her first shot. She was just so excited about doing the shoot. But what was interesting is every piece of lingerie that she had purchased was never used. She just had this imagination that one day she wanted to meet someone that she could uh, wear this for, and so. Um, it was it was one of my uh my friends it was his his new girlfriend and uh they both came and we we did the uh experience and she just uh she just loved it and we've actually just did her branding pictures too uh uh last weekend so and they're they're lots of lots of fun now i will tell you susan was a very interesting she now i i shoot at two different locations one location is at the courtyard marriott and that um, uh, when we when we shoot there, that we can shoot there any day of the week. This location, the Brack Inn, they've given me a deal for on Tuesdays. So on Tuesdays, we we have the that we can go into this place, and uh, it's 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 kind of like a, a a luxury boutique inn. Very very interesting. Now, three weeks before the shoot, she got herself a tattoo. <laughs> so this was she wanted me to show off that tattoo. I highly encourage you to, uh, with 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 the magazine, listen to Susan's experience because she'll will everything from uh, 
sometimes ap after the hair and makeup, we actually went into a forest and did a few shots first. And then we went to the, um, the inn and started our, our, our different shoots. Now, uh, you know, over the years I've B I've, I've, um, I've known B for over 40 years and um, we've been on, I was on the TV crew where we went to Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, and we finished off in New Zealand. And um, so one year I, on, while we were on these tours, she said, Oh, what are, what's some things on your bucket list? And I wanted to make a movie. So anyways, so she, uh, about nine years ago, we made a movie called Captivating Carla. So if you want to see the trailer for that, that's you can kind of see that there. And Janice, you know, honestly, these are just so many fun stories. And, and, and we really, um, you know, as I go through this, I'm really um, looking forward to the, the next women that are, are, are going to be coming in. So she's a very proud Newfoundlander. Now, did you say you're, you're from New, Newfoundland too? My mom was. I'm a descendant of a Newfie. <laughs> okay. Um, but I have a lot of family still in Newfoundland, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, and what, what was kind of amazing, when we were listening to her story, she was saying that, um, I guess with the, with the diabetes, that she, she became blind in one eye. And, wow. uh, and I was so surprised because, I mean, like, I mean, you could, I literally could not tell because I, I thought one eye would shift off, but Nope. It was whatever they've done. That was, it was, it was remarkable, but it just shows you the stories people have gone through. Eh? Mm -hmm. So when I started shooting, I didn't start shooting boudoir. I, I, I was shooting beauty and fashion and uh, Cindy, she, she uh, did a, what I call a Sue Bryce shoot. And uh, it's more like a beauty shoot. So if you're not quite ready for boudoir, I can show you different poses that you that might uh, interest you uh, in either the beauty or the fashion area. And then I finish with I'd like to show you my this is my little sister, Marilyn, and and the and the original owner of the fox fur, my mom. It's an experience that um, uh, you know you will never you'll you won't forget like that 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 shoot that you did last year, it is still top of mind, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I just I just hope that at one point you you, you it, it, it's a nice Christmas present for yourself to uh, do it. Also, after people uh, 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 after the shoot, I, I will be giving people a link so that if they want to get more pictures, if they if they explain to other people and their friends what it's all about, every time another person uh, joins in then they actually get there there's they'll get more images from that too. Perfect. So, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, so I'm I'm looking forward to our shoot and what we'll do is why don't we do it after your shoot we'll do a little bit of an update. Sure. That would be sounds, awesome. Sounds fun. Okay, so thank you very much Janet and uh, thanks for uh, coming on today. Take care. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.